Hey guys, Fuller here with Custom Offsets, and today I'm gonna to tell you the five things you probably didn't know about your TPMS system. So this, if you've never seen it, is a TPMS sensor, and technically I said tire pressure monitoring sensor sensor twice, but you get the point of it. So what does this do? This reads out the tire pressures in your vehicle in your car, so you can see it by looking on the dash, or if you don't have that advanced of a system, it'll just give you that low warning light so you can see if your tire pressures are low, while you're driving because just looking at a tire would be too hard to see if it's flat. So if you're wondering if you need TPMS sensors, the chances are if you've got a vehicle that's 2007 or newer, uh, I know for sure that your vehicle does have the sensors installed and that's because right around 2007 a law was passed that states that you have to have those tire pressure sensors so all the vehicle manufacturers have put them in. So if you hadn't been thinking about TPMS sensors and you're worried about the cost of them and you think, well maybe I'll just take the stock TPMS out of this, you know, your stock wheels and put them in your new aftermarket wheels. Uh, a lot of people think that they can do that or ask if they should do that and you really shouldn't because you actually end up spending more money by doing that. So when we ship you wheels and tires, they come mounted and balanced just like this one is here and the TPMS, as long as you select it, is already installed. So if you order this without the TPMS because you're going to put in this TPMS sensor, you have to take these, bring them in, get them dismounted, and that's usually gonna cost you about $25 per wheel and tire setup. So it's 100 bucks to get this pulled off, take your old sensors, if they didn't break them when they took them out, and then put them in here. But since we shipped this already mounted in balance, you're gonna have to pay another $100 to get this dismounted so they can put the um, sensors back in, and then you're probably gonna pay another $100 because you need these remounted and balanced. So you're up to about 300 bucks as long as there's no additional fees in there just to swap sensors from one to the other and that's only if they don't break because it's very common for these sensors when people are pulling them out of old wheels uh, that they break and they don't work in your new setup. If you haven't figured it out by now, I love walking through doors. So when it comes to getting your TPMS to sync up with your truck, there's a couple different ways to do it and it all depends on what vehicle you have. So a lot of the newer Dodge Rams actually automatically sync, which is really nice. But also keep in mind, uh, it takes a while for your vehicle to forget sensors and to learn sensors. So you might be driving for the first 30 miles all fine, and then your light comes on. Give it another 50 miles or so, and eventually your truck will relearn that system. But if you have a Ford or a Chevy, there's all different sorts of processes to get these sensors to sync up with your vehicle. And uh, some of them are kind of com complicated, where you have to turn the key on this far, but not all the way, but don't have the engine running, but then cycle it back and forth, but then pump the brake, and then turn the turn signal on, and then turn the brights on, and then turn the key back, and then jump up and down on one leg, and it's really confusing. So what most people do, if you're running a shop, people have a TVMS tool, kind of like this one here, and this allows you to sync TVMS sensors to your vehicle much more easily. However, these are pretty expensive, so it's not something that your average person is going to have. So if you do run into issues with your TPMS sensors, you can always contact us and we'll get those resolved for you um, because we don't have your vehicle. We're not able to program them to your vehicle, although oftentimes we can set them up so they do sync. Uh, you might have to stop into your local wheel and tire shop and just have them program these for you. It shouldn't cost any more than like 20 to 40 bucks. If they're charging you more than that, skip those guys, go somewhere else. So probably the most common question we get with TPMS is, can I just skip them and save the $179? And legally, I have to tell you that no, you can't, because if your vehicle is equipped with TPMS, it's actually law and you have to put those sensors back in. But if for some reason you weren't going to buy them, you actually could get away with it, but you have a little annoying light on your dash, and that's probably the most frustrating part about TPMS, other than dealing with the problems with them, sometimes not syncing up. But like I said, there's ways to get around that, and so if you don't want to put TPMS in, that's your call. I would recommend it, though. So those are the five things that you might not have known about TPMS sensors or the system in general and how they work. So hopefully that helps you uh, make smarter choices when you're buying your wheels and tires on customoffsets.com. That's all for now. I'm out of here. Peace.